My name is Todd Brian Tucker. I know what you're thinking. Is that the name I was actually born with? No, it's not. The name I was born with was horrible and not me at all. Roscoe Bergen was the name I left behind when I faked my death. That name was just a reminder of how little I meant to my family and to the system. I was grateful to get out. I'm 25 now and have a decent apartment in Chicago, not far from Oak Street Beach, Chestnut Place. I work at a liquor store close by. I know I can easily get a higher paid job, but I actually enjoy working at the store and I love my coworkers. I get a few strange people once in a while, but who doesn't working at a liquor store? On top of full-time work at the liquor store, I go to college full-time. Hey, I may love my store job, but I want a career that I can work up to. And I'm 25, halfway to 50. A career will get me out of my one-bedroom apartment and allow me to maybe buy my own place. I would love to live on some acreage and maybe own a cat or even a dog. I also would like to have a vehicle of some kind. But again, career with good digits on a paycheck. I had started by working on my high school graduation, which I finished last year. That being said, I'm nothing special, so each night I walk myself home without issues. What? As I said, I'm a 25-year-old. I know I've said that a few times now. With short black hair and green eyes, my physique isn't all that impressive. I'm not a bodybuilder, and I don't have a six-pack or anything like that. Just your average Joe. It's unlikely that I'll get jumped for potential sexual innuendo. My wallet stolen? Maybe. The things I've done with my life? Nothing. I've got the boringest life anyone's ever seen. Why? Because my parents have always been protective of me. I'll give you a real good example. When I wasn't even thought of yet, they had my older brother. Fresh out of the birth canal, he vanished. Twenty-something years later, my family gets a call from Chicago to find that my brother is alive and, well, now, fucking a fucking vampire. That's right, my family is part of the no. Forest filler here, second grandchild to Bianca filler, fully and completely human. My family is a witch family, but only one of us in every second generation is a witch. My grandmother had it, and then my older brother. Enough about him, though. This is my life we're talking about, not his. I didn't even know I had an older brother until that phone call, and that was a while ago. Grandmother had been in the area when he called, and she had met him and helped him with his spirit animal. Right, there are three kinds of witches. There's my grandmother and brother, the oldest ones to exist, which have what is called a spirit animal. It allows a witch to shift into a particular animal that's within them, something they relate to. The name they go by is witch shifters. My grandmother is an owl, and my brother a fox. The second kind of witch is the witch hunters. They hunt witches like my grandmother and brother. The last ones are the slayers, the fuckers who stole my brother from my family. Those fuckers hunt vampires and werewolves, but usually go after rogues. Those kinds of witches can use magic.